All right, I know it's been a while since I've posted um, a video update. I used to do the daily recaps and so on. Um, if you've been trading for a while, you you probably know who I am. If you're new to trading, um, you probably have no idea. Um, I kind of fell off the map about a year ago. Um, I stopped posting my profits. Just a little backstory. Um, I started trading in 2020. Um, I blew up like 20 accounts. I got laid off from my job um, during COVID. I formulated my own trading strategy. And that's kind of how, how I got started. Um, I blew up 19 accounts and then I started a 20th one um, with $500. And it was kind of my last go. I kind of realized what I was doing wrong. I got started again and I turned that $500 into 2.4 million in eight months and it was simply because I kind of realized what I was doing wrong to begin with every day I, I would trade for when I was blowing the accounts up I would be up you know a couple hundred dollars five hundred thousand whatever it was um, I would be up and I would keep trading so I understood that I needed to limit my trades and I understood the the timing of the market okay I'm winning at this time and I'm losing at this time so I focused on the time I was winning and I would go for one to three trades a day. I would, I would, my target was 5% per day. Um, and that's kind of what led me to the success that I had. Um, and by doing so, I built a following on Twitter, which has since dwindled um, and, and dropped tremendously because I don't post my profits anymore. Unfortunately, um, in the trading world, you have to post your profits in order to grow as um, a, an, an educator. Um, and I stopped doing that because one thing that uh, I lost track of whenever I was posting my profits is yes, I've, I've had so many 100K days, $10,000 days, $50,000 days. Um, whatever it was, the one thing I lost track of is why I got started doing it. And, and why I wanted to start educating. And the simple reason was, is I grew up very poor. Um, and I wanted to teach the people that grew up in the situation that, that I grew up in, kind of how to get out of that and, and show people there's a second way. Um, if you ask anybody that I grew up with, they would probably never guess that I'm in the situation financially that I'm in today. Um, because I was an idiot. <laughs> um, I worked in every factory and in, in North Mississippi. And every time I would go clock in, um, I would, I would, I would know that this, this is not for me. This is not what I'm, I'm meant for. So the biggest blessing of my life was, was COVID. And, um, when COVID happened, I, I had no choice. Um, I was laid off and I, I had to, to make something work. And, I knew that the stock market was what I wanted to do. I didn't know how I was going to accomplish it. So what I did was I started watching the the top day traders in America and I would compare what they were doing daily and see, you know, how they would trade. And I kind of built a strategy based around that. And I, I understood that I could be really good at this when I started correcting them. Um, and that's kind of how I, I, I built my wealth is I never really um, looked to other people, I guess you would say, to, to teach me things, uh, if that makes sense. Um, I've always been the kind of person that see someone do something. Um, for instance, Ross Cameron, the guy that I looked up to, I, I see someone do something and I understand that they're doing it so it's possible. But I also understand that they're doing it so there's a better way to do it and that's um, how I approach the stock market. Um, if, if I saw him or anyone else doing one thing, I would understand that there's a better way to do it. And once I approached with that mentality, I, I, I built wealth very quickly. Um, the money did, I guess you could say, go to my head. Um, because I do run a discord. Um, and my Discord blew up very, very, very quickly. Um, I went from having 200 followers on Twitter to having 10,000 overnight. 
And it was essentially because I was posting, I posted one day where I made $100,000 or $124,000. And people see that, and this is the misconception of the stock market, is people see that and they're like, I can do that too because he did it. They don't understand the the trials and the struggles that I went through. They don't understand that, you know, I slept in my car. Um, in order to learn this and the things that I had to do to, to get where I am, um, they see someone posting outrageous profits, but they, they, they don't under, understand. Um, this is not for everyone. Um, I fully understand as an educator that if I teach, you know, 100 people, there might be one person that, that gets it, but that makes it worth it for me. And it, people that are, are trying to learn the stock market, you can't approach this from the aspect of I'm about to get rich. You, you have to approach this with a passion. You have to understand um, all the ins and the outs. You have to understand that if I have $500 today and I make $20, I am completely happy and I will walk away with these $20, the, the $20. Um, where, where people fail, I believe, um, is trying to get rich quick. You have to love this and you have to, um, enjoy waking up every morning to do this. Um, I haven't set my alarm since 2021. And the reason I have not set my alarm is because I'm so excited to wake up to do what I do. I love this. This is my passion. I can read a stock chart better than I can read a book. Um, I love doing what I do. And until you can, you can have that same passion for this, then you're probably not going to succeed. You, you have to love this and you have to understand that you're not going to get rich quick, but you also have to understand that if you compound, um, the money's going to come a lot quicker. Um, what I was saying earlier, the 500, if you make $20, um, you gotta be happy with that. Um, you take those base hits, you, you take those $20 wins. You trade the same way every day with an effective strategy. Um, and you know, that $20 day may be a $2,000 day. The, the thing is, is we, we can't find, I mean, we find something that works and we change it. And in my opinion, that's where people fail. If you've been in my discord or if you've learned anything from me, you, you know that I have not changed anything that I'm doing in the past three years. Um, why? Because it works. Um, when I started my discord, I did limit myself because I did make a large sum of money. I grew up, for those of you that don't know, I grew up very poor. Um, my, my family were drug addicts. Um, so I never had an understanding of money. Um, but when I did make a, a large sum of money, I had the, I don't give a fuck mentality, if that makes sense. And I knew that, okay, I, I made this $2 million. I can make 2 million more and then 2 million more and so on. And that was my downfall. Um, I lost track of educating because when I first got started doing this, I did stop. I, I stopped everything because I wanted more and more and more. Um, and that was never my my goal as an educator, my goal was, to, to, like I said, take what I've learned and teach the people that kind of grew up in the same situation as me or the people that feel helpless um, to give them a path. And you do lose track of things when you make a significant amount of money in a certain amount of time. And I did do that. Um, but what I want people to understand uh, about me as a person is once I made it to the point where it wasn't about money, that's when I succeeded. People that are following me and, you know, the new people that are coming in the future to understand that, you know, we can't make this about money. It's cool to post the profits. I'm not going to lie. I fucking hate posting profits. It's the stupidest thing ever because it's me boasting about, okay, I did something. And then, you know, you have other people that are talking about losing and, you know, it's, it's almost like the egotistical thing, um, where I, I'm better than, than them. And that's never the case. And that's why I don't like posting profits. Um, unfortunately 
in the Fentwick community. We have to do that to grow our following and we have to do that to reach people. Um, and I do think when a lot of people, you know, join my discord, they, they quickly understand that I'm not like that. Um, everybody in my community, we know each other on a first name basis and we talk shit to each other. And that's what I wanted to build from the start. Um, so where, where I'm going with this is I I want to teach everyone, but there are always going to be the freeloaders that come in. Um, like this week I opened up a free three day trial. I had people come in the discord, um, with the free three day trial and they canceled it on the third day <laughs> and then tried to redo the free three day trial. People who pay, pay attention. And one thing that anyone in my discord can, um, can tell you about is if I see that you're succeeding and I see that you're active in the community, you end up with a free spot or, um, you end up with a, a big discount code for a lifetime membership. Uh, it's, it's not about that. It's about, the, it's about building a team and a family and people who are all, all are on the same base and we all want to grow together as a team. And that's, that's one thing that I wish that I could reach out to everyone and, and help people understand that, you know, if you have a strong community beside you, then, um, you know, success is only a few steps away. It's, it's the people that you surround yourself with, um, that, de that determine the outcome of your success. Um, when I succeeded, I, I had I feel like hundreds of friends. And then the, the moment that, you know, I made a million dollars and I stopped talking to people because I was focused on growing as an individual. Those people were no longer there. You, you quickly, um, you quickly realize who your true friends are. They're always going to be there. Um, I promise you if there's anyone that wants to learn, I'll be willing to teach them and I, I will probably understand, um, a lot of things that a lot of you are going through because I've been through a lot myself. Um, the people that have been here for a while, no, um, I don't harp on those things, but, uh, I did want to stress the fact that unfortunately I have to post profits to, to grow the discord. Um, I stopped doing that and my fo <laughs> my following dropped tremendously. Um, and this sucks because you have someone with a hundred thousand followers that completely fucking stupid when it comes to the market. Been shorting um spy senses at four hundred. Um they're not reading the price action, they're not reading anything. Um the stuff that I teach daily is, is very effective. It's very simple. I think a kindergartner could learn how to trade if they were committed to it, um, based off of what I teach. And I, I, I truly think that I'm one of the best educators. Um, I may not make more money than most people because I'm not throwing, you know, $250,000 into a trade anymore. Um, my passion is educating this and I'll, I just want each of each and every one of you to understand that I don't have to post those profits to know what I'm doing. Um, I can pull reports and do all of this and show everyone how much money I've made, but that's not fucking relevant. Uh, it doesn't make sense to have to do that. I share my screen every morning and people that are there understand. Um, I don't have a point to prove. I want us all to make money together and I want us all to grow as a team, but I just wanted to give a little, a little bit about kind of where I'm at, because like I said earlier, I know I haven't updated in a while and, uh, I'm looking to grow the team again. Um, we've built a very strong family and I'm looking to bring a few more people in and, and hopefully that can be assets to the team. Um, but that's, that's essentially it. I kind of got heated earlier because of the, the free trial stuff and, and people wanting to be leeches. Um, I have people, you know, message me every day. Like, Hey, could you do it this way or this way? No, if you took my fucking classes that are free, you would understand everything that I'm talking about. And it's, it's pretty clear, um, the direction that we're going, um, or else I wouldn't have made, you know, turn flip the small accounts like I have been doing for the past six months. Um, I am planning to, to start 
a larger account soon. Um, when I got started, uh, I was making $8,000 a day and I wanted to show people that there was a way to do this with a small amount of money. So I stopped creating a big account. Um, I started every week. I still start with like $500 or so, um, this year alone, I started two weeks ago, um, $500 or $700 to 4,500. And then the past week, 500 to 4,600. And I'll be starting tomorrow with 2,600 and see where I can grow that. But I'm tired of holding myself back because people are limiting themselves because, um, they can't keep up, I guess you would say. Um, hesitation is is a killer in the stock market. And as long as everyone's hesitating, we're not going to succeed. Um, but I, I am very, very tired of holding myself back because I know what I'm capable of. There's absolutely no reason I shouldn't be making $100,000 a month. And I want everyone to be on the same page with me. Um, I don't want to trade small accounts anymore. I want to do what I'm capable of. Uh, I believe I'm, I'm one of the best at this. Um, I'm always going to be chasing better. I'm always going to be learning and I'll, I'll want those hundred K days again. So if you're a part of the team, I appreciate you for being here. Um, it's only up from here. You guys have seen what I've done past month or two. And uh, it's only going to get bigger from here. And I think this is going to be my biggest year ever. And I'm super thankful to have each and every one of you here. Um, but I think this year's going to be mind blowing. So, so buckle up. I think it's going to be a fun ride. And again, I appreciate everybody um, for being here. And if you're a leech, get the fuck out. We don't want you. But if you're here to learn, I'll be here to teach you 24 seven. And I'll be glad to have you on the team.